Hello everyone, I welcome you all to my channel Shells Biology Nest and in today's short session we will come to know 25 best project ideas for life science students. That means if you are uh, doing life science and you if you are in your uh, graduation level or post graduation level or in uh, plus 2 school level and if you want some simple project ideas then you can refer uh, to my video for 25 best project ideas. See these project ideas they do not require any hi-fi laboratory instruments or they are almost inexpensive and uh, you can do these projects on your own without any guidance. Uh, of course you can go for your uh, go for doubt clearing things to your teachers but you can do most of them on your own and they are mostly they can be mostly done uh, without any hi-fi experimental setups. So these are basically very simple project ideas. Uh, most of them I have suggested my students to do. So most of the, the most of them are done by my students also. Uh, so, they are the first one, study of different types of insects in and around a particular area. So, let's suppose you uh, you stay in a town and you study in a particular college and if you want to submit a project in your plus 3 final year or PG, then you can study different types of insects found in and around your college or in and around your locality. You can go on searching for the insects and click the photos then the date uh, the location where you uh, you click that uh, insect you can write those things in a um, journal and uh, you can also uh, uh, set a particular number of days for your experiment like uh, you have decided i will search for 30 days so for 30 days go on searching for the insects in a, in and around that particular area and try to search as many species as you can and at the end you can identify those insects from various books you can take the help of google lens you can also ask your teachers so you can identify the insects then you can uh, uh, make a project out of it like let's suppose you uh, identified 60 species of insects then to which uh, uh, class they do they belong so these things you can uh, write down in your project and submit and uh, this will make up a good project then study of different types of birds similarly you can do for birds also but for birds you need uh, a camera good quality camera and you can go for uh, searching as many species of birds you can in and around your area and most probably within a span of 15 days you can go for 30 or 40 species of birds my my students have done this so they have searched for 35 around birds in, with, within a span of 20 days using uh, their dslr camera and they have identified those birds made a table out of it and submitted it as their uh, graduation project the study of different types of butterflies you can do in the same way butterflies you can go and search then uh, there's location from where did you find it the flower where did you find then the date the time these things and at the end you can identify those butterflies then you can also see uh, which butterfly you have spotted for the maximum number of time this will also help or give one more extra angle in your project then study of different types of spiders this also will help you uh, to make a good project my students have also done, done this and you can search for 15 to 20 spiders within a span of 30 days okay then study of different types of flowering plants uh, it is plants okay flowering plants in and around your area you can click the photos and identify them then similarly non flowering plants if there are uh, some bryophytes steadophytes or gymnosperms then you can uh, click those plants then bryophytes uh, the bryophytes in and around your area if you live in an area where you can find few bryophytes then you can go and search them you can also study pteridophytes in an air in your area if you live in that area where you can find some pteridophytes then some gymnosperms if you live in an area so these things can make up a good project 
सिमिलरली स्टडी ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फेदर्स ऑफ बर्ड्स सो यू कैन कलेक्ट फेदर्स फ्रॉम गार्डन्स फ्रॉम बिलो बिलो ट्री ट्रंक्स from uh, places where you suspect uh, uh, maximum number of nests are built by birds you can collect those feathers then identify the type of feather identify the bird to that to which the feather belongs in this way you can make a good project and at the end you can also decorate those feathers on a uh, on a piece of paper on a chart paper and you can submit it it will help you to make a good project then study of different types of bird nests so if you are confident that in your area there are many birds then you can search for bird nests what type of bird nests are there which birds are making those nests in which season they are making so this uh, project can be also done then study of different types of seashells so if you live in a coastal area you can go and visit two or three beaches and collect few seashells come and identify those seashells to which uh, uh, class they belong to which class do they belong or things like that so you can study seashells also then study of different uh, life cycles of mosquitoes this can be done in rainy season only you can collect mosquitoes and their larvae Uh, from the stagnant water areas the study of life cycle of drosophila or any insect by growing them at home any garden larva will also do it matlab uh, you can uh, take a glass jar open mouth glass jar and uh, put uh, a mashed banana or uh, uh, some tomato and keep it in a place where you think drosophila may come and just uh, keep an eye on that uh, bottle whether drosophila are coming or not if they are coming and going that means they are laying eggs after they are gone then uh, just cover the mouth of that bottle and uh, wait for the eggs to convert into larva then pupa and then adult click different stages uh, and at the end collect the adults and take them to laboratory and ask your teacher to identify it whether it is a male or female you can do it for drosophila you can also do it for any other insect like uh, you can keep certain uh, rotten vegetables or uh, fruits in a uh, bottle and wait for any other fly to come and sit if you see some flies are coming and uh, going visiting that place that means they might be laying their eggs you can wait to for the eggs to hatch and see what uh, kind of larva and adult they are forming pupa and adult they are forming uh, so similarly you can also collect the larvae from cauliflowers and uh, uh, you can also collect some larvae from uh, garden also and keep it in a glass jar but be careful to give them the type of food and uh, uh, to keep them alive as much as possible so that you can see the transitions click pictures write about their life cycle how many days etc you can do this then all you can also visit certain poultry or dairy farm or sericulture or pisciculture or uh, any <coughs> wildlife sanctuary any uh, national park anything around your area you can go and visit and uh, write a project out of it like if you are visiting a poultry or a dairy farm what kind of animals they are keeping what kind of products they are uh, giving in the market what kind of uh, diet or antibiotics they are providing their animals with so these things you can do for poultry dairy farm or sericulture or pisciculture farms okay then study of cacti grown at home see there are various types of cacti which can be grown at home which are the cacti which can be grown at home what are the benefits of growing or keeping them in home you can make a list or study about them then study of interior plants see there are various plants which can be kept indoor plants like uh, which can be kept inside you can make a list out of them and uh, study about them and uh, submit a uh, project <coughs> then see there are um, 
in various places there are certain uh, certain uh, greenhouse or you can say uh, certain areas where cacti are grown by professionals you can visit those areas and see what are the various types of cacti which can be found in nature you can identify them write about them and make a good project out of it then study of bmi and its related disorders in a particular population see let's suppose you live in an area and you can visit let's suppose 20 families yeah 20 homes you can go and visit and you can uh, uh, take their bmi that is you have to take their height and weight then calculate the bmi out of it then you can ask certain questions to them like their age do they have any disorders like diabetes or bp or heart disease anything like that then you can find a relation in between them that is bmi and the disorder which they are suffering from so in a, in your pop, in an area uh, what is the common disorder the people are facing so these things you can do uh, this is a survey type of project then study of lifestyle disorders in a particular population uh, you can also study certain families and you can ask questions like what are the lifestyle disorders uh, the members of a family are suffering from like how many of the members are suffering from diabetes or bp or heart disease you can ask uh, the special diet they are following or any exercise do they do or not then you can uh, prepare a questionnaire and ask them in this way you can form a sort of a survey sort of thing exercises the diet to them like for diabetes what are the exercises which is suggested so in this way you can uh, do uh, these survey types of projects like then study of types of mendelian characters in a family see uh, there are uh, in a population sorry see uh, there are certain mendelian characters which you can go and uh, do a survey of that uh, in a population what are the uh dominant mendelian characters found what are the recessive mendelian characters found for example this ear loop attached and free then uh, uh, this uh, freckles atta- uh, whether it is dominant or recessive then widow's peak presence of widow's peak whether it is pol- uh, dominant or recessive so you can make a list of the mendelian characters of human beings the dominant and recessive ones and you can go and find in population so a survey kind of thing you can do uh, in case of mendelian characters also then study of phytoplankton and zooplankton from different water samples like you can uh, collect five water samples from different ponds uh, this requires certain laboratory conditions you can take few uh, it will it will need little assistance you can grow uh, you can collect the water and uh, uh, you can uh, uh, keep it in a dark place in your laboratory with some straw in it there is a procedure protocol for that and you can allow the phytoplanktons and zooplanktons in that water sample to grow if they are present you you will allow them to multiply then after a few days you can study them under the microscope and identify which types of phytoplankton and zooplankton are found in different water samples uh, in and around a area study of different developmental stages of chick embryo by growing them in laboratory incubator see for this you need an in- inverter and uh, you can collect certain fertilized eggs from a uh, poultry farm or from some local vendors also you can collect and you can keep them in your laboratory incubator connected with an inverter and for the whole uh, period of incubation you can collect the eggs after certain hours of incubation and see the developmental stage for this you will require certain uh, some help from your laboratory 
and you can see the different stages and it will be very exciting for the for all of you to see the stages in the x then study of fingerprints of identical twins see identical twins have identical dna but do they have identical fingerprints you can study this by uh, collecting fingerprints of some identical twins and you can identify the fingerprints then match the fingerprints and you can uh, make a project out of it but for this you require certain help because uh, for identification you need some help whether you have identified the fingerprint to be the correct one or not you need some help okay then study of fingerprints of a family for this also you can collect fingerprints of few family uh, families all the members of the families all the 10 fingers of uh, fingerprints you can collect and just study the types of fingerprints found in a population this will also make a good project then study of fingerprints of students of a particular school this can be also done okay then dissect and learn about androecium and gynoecium different flowers see you can collect like 25 to 30 flowers okay and you can dissect the androecium and gynoecium you can take them out collect the pictures and you can see the varieties of androecium and gynoecium of different flowers and uh, make a good project out of it so these things will not require much assistance and much laboratory setup and will make good project will also help you to understand the um, uh, the discipline of research and the project will have certain headings like you have to write the introduction okay the theory study site from where you have collected the sample materials and methods then uh, result conclusion you if you write these things normal undergraduate project will be a good one so these things uh, i hope will help you all to uh, design your own project for undergraduate or post graduation or plus 2 level so uh, these things most of them are done by my students and they have done it these things very easily without much laboratory assistance so i hope these things uh, i have helped you to some extent thank you all thank you for watching